professionals and amateurs, and I know amateurs a lot of times, or people starting out when they're writing screenwriting, when they're writing screenplays, yeah. they get caught up so much in the in the the minutia of the period has to be here, that has to be there. All these rules in the formatting, not even yes. structure or story, just the formatting and. It is important to format. Like I always tell people, I'm like, when you're Shane Black, they're going to let a spelling error go by. They're going to let some grammatical stuff go by because you're Shane Black or you're Aaron Sorkin. Um, yes. And that's going to fly. And you have to be so much more perfect when you're starting out. But I think they get caught up so much. I'm, I'm, I'm When I started writing my screenplays, I did the same thing. I was just like literally periods and this and that. What's your opinion on that? Well, there's so many good formatting programs mm -hmm. to help you. But if you're writing the first script, first script, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I mean, you'll after you write it, you'll go and you'll reformat it. What you want to do is to start getting it down and have the experience of writing 100 pages. It's scary the first <laughs> time. I, um, I wrote my first book, Making a Good Script Great. I was terrified until the last chapter. And what I learned was you can type when you are terrified. Your, your hands might be shaking, but you can still type. And pretty soon you take a deep breath and it's like, okay. And on many of my books, I've reached those points of sheer terror. I said, oh my gosh, I have to do this chapter or what am I talking about? And is this good enough? And then you go back into it and you get feedback. That's extremely important in writing. And... You go through the process, and, you know, somewhere around my sixth book, it occurred to me I was an author. I used to say, I write books, and someone said, you're an author. I said, oh, yes, I guess I'm an author. And, and as you write, I mean, I feel like I have a handle on writing now, and um, it goes more easily in many ways because I don't get frustrated. I don't get upset if I'm running into a problem. I, I go for help. I go for feedback. I hire a researcher. I mean, I do whatever is needed in order to do it. But um, terror is part of it, and especially at the beginning, <laughs> and, and knowing that you're having trouble with something. You say, I don't know how to do this. I had a literary consultant for my first seven books, and sometimes I needed him for the whole book. And so, so the first couple books he did, he worked on the whole book. And my editor at the publisher said, why are you having that? That's what I do. And I said, well, you actually do something somewhat different. And he helps me present to you a good draft so you don't have to do as much. But um, people have different talents. And then as I got more, you know, farther along, when I ran into problems, I would go back to him. And sometimes I'd go back to him with a page. And I, the one, my, one of my books is, he said, you know what? Your, your actually first chapter actually starts on page two. Move that paragraph up. Move these three paragraphs over here. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, that works really well. And I couldn't see it. So we need, we need those people. Yeah, I, I understand your point of uh, after six books, you think of yourself as an author. I, I, it took me a long time before I considered myself a director or I considered myself a writer of any sort.